My school stinks. Written by Becky Sharnshorst. Pictures by Julia Patton. August thirty first. Dear diary, tomorrow is the first day at my new school. Mom and Dad told me to take deep breaths and think happy thoughts. So far, it isn't working. P.S. They also said I was old enough to walk to school by myself. Good thing I drew a map. September first. Dear diary, I think there's been a mistake. My desk mate stinks. My locker buddy bites, and my teacher is unbearable. I told mom my classmates are wild animals, but she said all little kids have wild animals. I think I'm going to be sick tomorrow. Yo. September second, dear diary, mom didn't believe I was sick. Neither did dad. September third, there's definitely a been a mistake. Today the monkeys asked me to play during recess. It was fun until they let go. <coughs> Patricia caught me, but I still had to visit the nurse. Here's one of the clothes she pulled out. I have 186 more. P.S. The deep breaths still aren't working. P.P.S. Neither are the happy thoughts. P.P.P.S. I'm not going back tomorrow. September fourth. Dear diary, I had to go back. Miss Fuzzy Bottom is the only one who understands. September fifth. Three reasons why I hate Wildwood Elementary. Number one, Betsy chewed up all my pencils. Number two, George keeps picking through my hair looking for bugs to eat. Number three, Charlie ate our science experiment. P.S. My school stinks. September eighth, dear diary. When I went to feed Miss Fuzzy Bottom, she was missing. I suspected Sammy, but he said he was still digesting his breakfast from last week. Maybe it was Charlie. Nope. P.S. Charlie asked me to eat lunch with him tomorrow. What if I'm lunch? P.P.S. I asked Dad if he could pick me up before lunch. He said no. So did Mom. September ninth, dear diary. Today in gym we ran relay races. My team finished in four hours twenty seven minutes and two seconds. We lost. Then I let Camilla go first at the water fountain. By the time I got back to class, everyone had already left. Good news, I missed lunch. Bad news, Charlie waited for me. I got so scared I left without my homework. Mr. Grizzly is not going to be happy about that. September tenth, dear diary, Mr. Grizzly gave out class jobs today. I wanted to be line leader, but I but instead I got closet cleaner. I found four dead cockroaches and gave them to Sammy for lunch. He said I could eat his dessert for the rest of the week because he wouldn't be hungry anyways. P.S. Maybe I should give one of the desserts to Charlie. He's always hungry. September eleventh, dear diary, we ran races again today. This time we won. P.S. I gave Charlie one of my cupcakes and he bit my finger. Ouch! Nurse Molly said I only needed one bandage this time. P.P.S. You can't get rabies from a crocodile. I asked. September twelfth, dear diary, I found a note from Charlie. I'm sorry I bit your finger. I'm a nervous spider. Can we be friends? Maybe I should tell him about the deep breaths and happy thoughts. September fifteenth, dear diary, you'll never guess what happened. During lunch, the hyenas were laughing at my small teeth, but Charlie stood up for me. You should have seen them one when they saw his teeth. Later, he and Ralph helped me clean the closet. While we were in there, we heard a scary noise. Now we all smell really bad. P.S. Mom doesn't understand how a skunk got in the storage closet. I guess she'll find it at the open house. Oops, sorry. Welcome home. Hooray! September sixteenth. Dear diary, turns out that scary scratching noise was just Miss Fuzzy Bottom. We threw her a welcome home party and gave her extra treats, but it seemed like she wanted to go back to the closet. Eek! 
September seventeenth. Three things I love about Wildwood Elementary: number one, Best C sharpens all my pencils; number two, George keeps me life free; number three, my best friend Charlie. Wildwood Elementary, open house. Deep breaths, Dad. The end.